Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I am your man, Captain Will. I'm your man, Captain Will. And we are talking about, we are talking about stuff. We are talking about uh, the NCAA tournament. We are talking about all the good things that is going on today. We have basketball today. We have final four activities that are going on today. And I cannot be more excited. I can't be more excited. I'm just trying to get my mic right. This thing won't work out for me. Can't be more excited. Can't be more excited. It is time. It is time to do what we've been talking about all season long. It's time to talk about it. It's time to do it. It's time to, to be who we are. It is time for the Gamecocks to reclaim, reclaim our throne as national champions. It is time. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, because are we having like a flashbacks? Are we having flashbacks of last year? Y'all know where y'all were. Y'all know where y'all was. This time last year, y'all know what was going down. We had Iowa. <sighs> Same situation, undefeated. One step away. One step away from getting the championship, from playing for the, the final game. And it didn't happen. Well, different Gamecock team, for show. Different team, can't wait. We are an 11 and a half point favorite against North Carolina State. 11 and a half point favorite. And um, do I feel that the, 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 the line is too big? Do I feel like uh, it's, it's a little bit, uh, uh, should it be like three, four, three points, four points? Should it be more? Should it be more than 11 and a half points? Is North Carolina State that team? Is North Carolina State that team? Those are the things that we got to talk about. Those are the things that we have to discuss. Those are the things that goes through my mind when talking about this basketball game. It really does. Because I'm hearing, like, it, 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 this is the thing. I think one of the worst things that you can have is, like, time to, 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 to simmer. I think it's time for too much time to simmer in between games. I really do. I think it's too much time to simmer because over the it seems like over the course of the last few days, North Carolina State has been crowned, has been elevated to a level that I ain't think they was. I ain't think they was. If we played North Carolina State during the middle of the season, we'll be talking about North Carolina State like we are now. Now, granted, they are playing better basketball. They are playing better basketball. Can't can't deny that whatsoever. Their guard rotation is dope. They, it is amazing. It is awesome. But come on now. We are talking about South Carolina. We are talking about South Carolina. Has we, have, we, have we forgotten who we are? Who we are? There's no doom and gloom in the universe of South Carolina. They're acting like James is going to score 40 points tonight. Here's a secret. James ain't scoring no 40 points tonight. She ain't scoring 30 points tonight. She might get 20, but if she get 20 points, she's going to shoot 20 times. Come on now. Don't, don't, don't um, sit back there and just worry and worry and worry. Uh, uh, Adam Ritter, get it together, brother. Get it together. Don't be scared. This is Gamecocks. We want it to be here. There ain't no way in hell we losing this basketball game. There ain't no way. There's no way we are losing this basketball game tonight. No. No. They're going to do everything in their power to win this basketball game tonight. Everything. This is the revenge tour coming full circle. We can't stop now before the last act. We can't stop the song before the chorus. We can't do none of those things. We have to win tonight. Now, with that being said, it's a whole lot of pressure. whole lot of pressure that's going to be going on between our girls today because they know they got to win too. And, and of course, North Carolina State is the underdog. They are, they have, North Carolina State has zero pressure on their basketball team. They have none. Everything is 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 is, is strawberries and 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 um whipped cream and 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 nihilators and all those different things. All that stuff. 
because they are the 12 point underdog. South Carolina is 36 and 0. We ain't lost a game all year. All year. North Carolina State has lost multiple games this season. Multiple. Even though the national media isn't talking about the Gamecocks enough, Breezy said a little bit about it during her interview. They did not, they did not get enough coverage. I, I don't understand why. I, 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 what do you mean? Let me fix my face. I know why. We know why. If you're watching right now, you know why we're not getting the coverage. You know why. It even like because I'm watching the um the girls nationals, really good basketball. You know, um you, you got some stellar players, Jelani Cambridge, you got um both of the Swords sisters, you got Kate Koval, you got so many dominant players in this thing. And you come to a, a, a break in the action, they do the same monologue, they do the same uh uh read. You say, oh, South Carolina versus North Carolina State. Then it's Paige Beckers and UConn versus Caitlin Clark in Iowa. Come on now. Give, give credit what credit is deserved. South Carolina's undefeated. South Carolina's lost one basketball game in the last two years. Three basketball games in the last three years. Come on now. Come on. It, it, we just, in, 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 all, in all honesty, and I talked about this before. I thought about this before. I talked about this before is because the way this landscape is, is changing in terms of women's basketball, we want to individualize stuff and blah, 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 all those different things. So we're going to, we just got to continue to win basketball games. It sounds crazy that we got to continue to win basketball games when multiple teams in this tournament has lost multiple ten times in this tournament, but they're being talked about more, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I, I didn't even do like when ESPN came out with the top 25 players or whatever, whatever that thing. They're talking about the top players in the final four or whatever. I was like, but I'm not even going to go off because it's, it's some bogus mess. I, 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 I didn't even, I, I just, I just woo saw, relax, relate and released and just chill because I was not going to do that. Cause all narratives stop when we win this basketball game tonight. At it, what time is it? 5 38 p.m. right now? Oh, we ain't got that long. We ain't got that long. We ain't got that long. And then to, uh, on Sunday at three o'clock. At three o'clock. The time is coming, y'all. The time is come. The time we've had, we had an amazing season again. Had an amazing season again. And we just got to, mm, got to win tonight. We have to win tonight. We have to win this basketball game tonight. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock in a lot of places. Tonight gonna be fun. Tonight's gonna be fun. And I'm going live at 9:15, right after this game. And we're gonna talk all about it. We're gonna talk about it. And let us blow out North Carolina State. Let us win this basketball game. It's gonna be an amazing night tonight. Trust and believe. Been a lot of different interviews. A lot of different interviews with um the various different players from North Carolina State. You know, um, a couple of questions in regards to some, um, Sanaya Rivers and Rivers ain't got no animosity with, 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 with Don Staley, with this coaching staff. Hell, um, Raven Johnson said she loves Sanaya Rivers. But tonight, you know, they're enemies. Ain't no, don't, don't make up no stories that ain't there. Ain't no, ain't no stuff. There ain't no crazy stuff that's going on in this basketball game. North Carolina State going to play hard. We going to play hard. Both of us have really solid defenses. South Carolina defense is better, but it's going to be a good basketball game. It is. But the trajectory of this basketball game can change, in my opinion, quickly. And I say it like that quickly because with North Carolina State playing six players, it, they have to stay out of foul trouble. They have to. You, I, I think you're going to see, in order for them to stay out of foul trouble, you're going to see North Carolina State play zone obviously. And we got to shoot. We got to shoot. They play zone. We got to shoot the ball. Pow Pow got them green shoes, y'all. Pow Pow has them green shoes tonight. And you know what that means? Green shoes mean money. She going to be money tonight. She going to be money tonight, y'all. It's going down for Tina Pow Pow. It's going down. And because they don't want to get in foul trouble. You got James who played who played 40 minutes basically in the last two games. You got Sonar Rivers who's 
played 40 minutes basically in the last two games. They play a lot of minutes. They're not a deep basketball team. So if two, those two players or one of those two players get in some type of foul trouble, that's 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 a plus and a and a star with a a, a, a smiley face. What was those things do you get when you was a kid? And you got the um did something. I don't know. Maybe I got. It. I didn't get it. But you like a a, a a sticker, a star sticker, something that you did a great job. I didn't get those things when I was a kid. We didn't do that. Mm -mm. But that's that's what's going to happen if they get in foul trouble. Because you go from playing a player 40 minutes and say that player playing 25 minutes. That means somebody else got to get those minutes. And North Carolina State has not proven that they have a deep bench. Oh, uh, this other team does. South Carolina does. But you're going to see, what if we saw a situation? Lord, please let it happen. Let it please happen that Raven actually guards James. Let that happen. I want that to happen. I need it, I need it to happen. I don't want to see no mess like a like a uh uh Caden Clark and uh uh Haley Van Lith. I don't want to see that. I want our best get y'all best. Let's see how good you are. That's what I want to see. And then like I said, when Raven gets a little tired, then can bring on four out and get some of that. They play a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. So we're gonna play one-on-one. -on -one. Let's do one-on-one. -on -one. Let's do it. Because I think our one-on-one -on -one is a little better. Don't, don't, we are deeper guard, we are. Before, okay, if, 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 let's say this right here. James nor Rivers are efficient basketball players. They are not efficient basketball players. Neither one of them shoot a high field goal percentage. Neither one of them shoots a high three-point percentage. They shoot a lot of shots, okay? But they are not efficient offensive basketball players will they get hot today i don't know will this be a situation like a indiana who's one of the best shooting teams in the country no they are not indiana i talked about this the other day they're not indiana they're not uh uh utah they're not uh, in those great shooting teams no they aren't so let's not crown them a lot of fans already want to come. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, I'm worried about North Carolina State. Well, I, I, you know what? You know what? It's a big game. Carolina play like Carolina. This game is one. If we play average to below average basketball, that's a different story. We got an opportunity to lose. But I believe if we play good, the game will be won by 10 plus points. If we play good, we play great. We win in by 20. That is the way I believe. That's the way I think. Because we're just a better basketball team. Is that wrong to say? Is that wrong to say that we're a better basketball team? From top to bottom, from one to 10, we're a better basketball team? I don't think so. I've been confident all year long. I ain't gonna stop now. I ain't gonna stop. Carolina's winning this game. We are winning this basketball game. I ain't gonna feel like I did last year. It ain't gonna happen tonight. I'm not gonna feel the way I felt last year. Well, I'm just looking up in the, in, the, in the air and in the bed, just like, what in the hell just went on? What did I just suffer? My wife rubbed me on my head. Like, boy, get it together. That ain't happening this year. It can be celebration time. I'm going to look at that Sunday. I'm going to look at that Sunday. Because I couldn't make it to Cleveland because, of, you know, things happen with the family. Things happen with the family. And, 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 and things happen. That's life, right? That's life. So Cleveland's here. Cleveland's here up in Charlotte. But it's all good. It's all good. I got a sweet tea on deck. We are ready to turn this thing up tonight. We ready. We are ready to do this thing. And I'm so happy that this day is finally here. It's like, uh, like going through withdrawals. Maybe I went through it too. Just going through withdrawals just trying to get here. Because you wake up like, okay, one more day. Wake up three more days. Oh my God, here we go, here we go. Wake up this morning like, yeah, that's how I was. Like, oh yeah, it's basketball time today, that's how I was. That's how I was. Let's go through some of these comments. Go through some of these comments. Lots of comments. And while you commenting, make sure you, let me fix this. Make sure you, oh, what the hell? Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe if you're new to it. That's what I appreciate. Teron, thank you for 
first off, being the first one, you you hit me up at four o'clock. Appreciate it. But I appreciate all the different you know statistical stuff that you did, and I, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Adam Ritter, Saint Adam Ritter. I ain't even look at the thing until right now, and, and it said I'm I'm scared. Be careful, Aaron. Adam. We good. Russell Evans. Hey, Cap. I'm here for the pregame. Let's go. Let's do this, brother. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> North Carolina State. This is for Toronto. North Carolina State averages 74 points a game. South Carolina has only allowed three teams to score equal or more than 74 by a total of three points. North Carolina State is not scoring 74 points tonight. They're not scoring 74. They are not scoring 74 points against the number one defensive team in the country. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. I bet my retirement check on that one. That is not happening. That they're going to score 74 points. Because, ladies and gentlemen, North Carolina State is still playing the number one defensive team that they've ever had. Play. They will be playing the longest, the quickest, the most athletic team, the most physical team all year. All year. So when you're averaging that 74 points, you're averaging in the, the, the Rudy Poops, the Scrubs, uh, the Jabronis, all these different folks that they played throughout the season and going into this little formula. But I, I, offensively, North Carolina State ain't like that. They good, but they ain't like that. Come on now. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. She is Bree Wayne. I watched Raven Johnson's short documentary on March Madness YouTube page. I hope she truly gets that championship. Love you, Ray. Raven, as you already know, is my favorite basketball player in this team. Pow Pow is my second favorite. And Tessa Johnson is my third. Um, I want this championship so badly for Raven, Fagan, and Bree. No, you know, I'm going to say that differently. I want it for Raven, Powell. I want it for Raven. Those are my two. Raven and Powell. Raven, because of what she went through last season. Bree went through some stuff last season as well. So that, that should not be understated as also. But more specifically, Raven Johnson. Enough is not being talked about with this whole uh, mental health thing. Almost quit basketball. And it's just not enough. And how videos and, and viral stuff affects young people. Enough ain't talked about it. You know, but I want that championship for her. I want her to close. I want her to finish her story with a chip. I want to see the tears. I want all that great stuff after doing, I've been showing that hard work pays off, prayer pays off, uh, just, just working, just working as a, a better, to be, become a better basketball player and become a better, you know, young lady. And in terms of Powell, you know, Powell went through her own struggles, you know, in high school, Powell went through her own struggles in Oregon, you know, transferred here. And, and you got to think about it. This, this is the thing. Think about being in a situation where you are, across the country from what you used to, from your family, for all, just all these different things. And it's a big adjustment. Plan for another team, plan on, 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 on a bigger, bigger stage. And she's came through so big and, and the family's so dope and amazing. And I, just, I, I want it for her. I want it for her as well, you know? And I want it, I mean, the third thing, I just want it for the team. I want it for the team. I want them to show that team basketball actually works not individual basketball that is what i want as a basketball uh a uh, 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 lover of basketball i just want to it's all about teamwork it, it just coming from the military it's teamwork 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 nobody does it alone you know and i want carolina to prove that through teamwork through sacrifice you can accomplish any goal you want to that's what i want we are the best team in the country does the best team in the country always win? Nope. The best team in the country doesn't always win. That always don't happen. But you know that we are the best basketball team in the country. And I don't care if you're an Iowa fan. I don't care if you're a UConn fan. I don't care if you're a North Carolina State fan. You know that we're the best team in the country. If this was the NBA, uh, where there's a, a best out of seven, nobody beating South Carolina four times in a seven-game series. We know that. That would, that would never occur. That would never occur. But this is a one and done. And we need to ball tonight. We have to ball tonight.
We have to. It's a must. It's a must. A hey, cap seven o'clock needs to hurry up. Feels like I've been waiting for years. I feel you. I feel you. What's up, Derek? What's good? <laughs> Let's live good. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, that, that documentary by Raven is awesome. It's awesome. Our guards have to play tough defense today. No easy looks on threes. Can Noel. Uh, you're right. You're right. But they, 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 this, uh, I can't stress this enough, y'all. My mic is irritating the hell out of me. I'm telling you right now. I can't stress this enough. This is a... Okay. I don't I don't want to disrespect North Carolina State at all. North Carolina State is an average three-point shooting team. Yeah, average shoot three-point shooting team. We 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 uh have to guard the three, obviously, but also we gotta guard them individually, if that makes sense. We gotta guard them. But I did I, 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 I am not gonna be that dude. Who, who 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 talking and like okay like like we don't have a good defense, yo we have a really good defense. Our defense is better than North Carolina State. North Carolina State got to guard us. Are we forgetting that? Our offense, we score more points. We have a higher offensive rating. Our field goal percentage is higher. And I'm talking about offense. Our field goal percentage is higher. Our two point percentage is higher. Our three point percentage is higher. They got to guard us, but we never talk about that. They have to guard us as well while also trying to get off on offense. They only play in six players. So we make them feel it. Or when we make them feel it on offense, they're going to be a little tired on defense, y'all, because they don't sub. They don't sub. They're going to be chasing around Malaysia full while they're all over the court. They're going to be chasing Raven Johnson all around the court. They're going to be trying to box out Camila Cardoza and Ashlyn Watkins all game long. Or when they come out the basketball game, boxing out Chloe and Sanaya Fagan. You know, those are the things they're going to have to do. But when, that's not being discussed enough. We just, oh, we, you know, we're just talking about their, their guard uh, combo. Which is good. Which is good. But here is the thing. And I, and I preach about it all season long. Volume does not mean better. Volume don't mean better. It don't mean better. Volume just means you are shooting a lot. You are shooting a lot. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're a better basketball player. You know? It does not. They're going to play a lot. Our girls are not. Raven probably played the most minutes tonight. Raven probably played 28, 29, 30 minutes tonight. Now, probably, no, you know what? Raven probably played 30 minutes tonight. Powell probably played 28, 29 minutes. But they're not playing 40, not playing 38. Full while they're going to get burned tonight. She didn't get as much burn as last game. She's going to get burned tonight. You know, Tessa going to ball. It's it just, it just, I don't see the, the, the. I have to see it. And I watched a few of North Carolina State games this week. I did. When they lost and when they won, you know. I just go, I, I don't see the, did, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm way off base. But North Carolina State don't scare me. They don't scare me. I don't. They don't scare me. I don't, maybe I should feel, you know, threatened that North Carolina State is a, 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 a complete, basketball team. Maybe I should, but right now I don't. And I don't see that change in 5 to 4 right now. I don't see a change in about 7 o'clock. I don't. I don't. I just don't see it. I don't. They're a good basketball team, but I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. Rico McDaniel. South Carolina still getting disrespected. They're talking about North Carolina State more than South Carolina. And it, it, it really angers the hell out of me. It really does. It really does. And it irritates the girls. It was, and, and you know, it, it's just, man, it just irritates me. It irritates me. The, lo- the affection for certain teams just blows my mind. It blows my mind when you got the best team. What if Carolina, think about this, y'all. What if Carolina would have won the chip last year? What if we would have won the chip last year? And then we are, what's that be, 38? 
that 38 plus six that was 74 and we 74 and zero right now what are we talking about as much right now we we, we we be in the forefront we'll be in the um the headline we'll be starting shows would be commercials and i still ain't seen enough commercials about this basketball team I still have not seen the Raven Johnson commercial. I still have not seen the Malaysia Full Wally. I have not seen the Tahina Pow Pow. I ain't seen none of those commercials. Ain't seen that stuff. But if we were 74 and 0 versus 73 and 1, would it be more spoke up about us? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. My opinion is that it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. If we was going for back-to-back -back championships, I don't know. I don't think it would be. I think the story, the, the narrative will still be the same. I think it'll still be the same. We are not, as terms of national media, is not talking about these ladies enough. They're not talking about our stars enough. They are not. And I guess it's difficult to talk about the stars of the South Carolina team because we have so many stars, but that ain't our fault. It's not our fault. Recruit better. Can you play 40 minutes a game? That's what that is. Recruit better. Let's go through some more of these questions. Toronto, mm. if we play our average game and do as we as well, let me say that one more time. If we play our average game and they do as well, South Carolina win by a minimum of 11 of the 11 and a half point spread. Yes, and I also say if um, we play good and they play good, we will still win handily in this basketball game because our good is better than their good, okay? Uh, thank you for the tip. Somebody just tipped me. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think it's Eric. I can't see it, but thank you. She is ruined. I, th I bet they tell uh, uh, Zaya James to attack Powell on screens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural girl, we'll be fine tonight. You got it. You got it. We got this. Life is quay. Last time we had time to rest, we came out on fire. First and second round. I think the the the, the, the um the rest obviously will will help both teams, but I think it helps us more to a certain degree. And maybe because I'm biased, I don't know. But when you give time for a better team to rest, you know, you have more time. The coaches staff have more time to to ooh, to analyze, to nitpick, to 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 really do the X's and O's against another basketball team. Now I granted North Carolina State is doing the same thing. They did the same thing in their preparation. But I think that is um, more of a bonus for the better basketball team of having these days off. I really do. Um, Lamar Donald. Lamar Donald's cap. It's time for Camilla to truly terrorize this team. I don't think we have seen the best of her sitting here with my Remy Martin. Let's go, Game Cox. What's up, my guy? I appreciate it, you know? Um... I heard some stuff about River Baldwin. River Baldwin is a good basketball player. She is a good basketball player, okay? But they have nobody inside who can deal with Camila Cardoso. They don't. They don't. This team will be, uh, in regards to North Carolina State, win or lose, it's, it's going to be dependent upon James and Rivers. They have a good game, then the game will be close. They don't have a good game, the game will be a blowout. I'm just letting you know that right now. If they shoot poorly, if those two girls... If we're at halftime and those two girls are shooting under 40%, if they shooting under 40%, 35 37%, whatever that case may be, we'll be up by double, double digits at halftime. Remember that. Remember that. If they shoot well, the game will be close at halftime. If they shoot well, the game will be close at halftime and North Carolina State will be ahead. That's how much they depend on those two players. But if they're not on... This is a thing. This is basketball. They have to be on. James has to be on tonight for North Carolina State to have a shot at this basketball game. And the reason she has to be on is because she takes the most shots. She, has, she takes the most shots. 
We have to make it difficult. We got to make her feel uncomfortable. And yes, yes, that's your girl. I believe Raven will start on her too. I believe Raven will get on her and Breezy will be on Rivers. I, I believe in that concept as well. I do. Make it difficult. And then when those two players come out, Malaysia Fool Wiley uh, will get the assignment of of, of James and, and um, Tessa Johnson will get the, the assignment of Rivers because they ain't going to – that. that's the cool thing about it. This, this That's the cool thing about it. When they when we sub those two players and we bring in two more five-star recruits who can also defend, that is a problem. That's a problem. You will get tired. Attrition is going to happen in this basketball game. It's going to happen. Mark my word. Remember that stat. If they are shooting, let's say 38% or lower at halftime, we will be up by double digits. We will. Double digits. They got to shoot the lights out. They got to have the best shooting night that they've ever had this season to compete against South Carolina. That's what we got to do. Jasmine Green, not too much on Powell, y'all. Powell gonna light it up. I'm letting you know right now. But I, I ain't reading every comment, but I'm letting you know right now. Powell gonna light it up. I'm telling you, because y'all must have forgot who Powell, Tahina Powell Powell really is. Don't forget who she is now. She had a couple games where she was not shooting the three ball, but that's what the girl do. The girl wake up shooting three pointers. She's still number three in the country after having a couple of bad shooting nights for Tahina Powell Powell. She's still number three in the country shooting the rock. Trust and believe, 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 believe. Pow Pow gonna light him up tonight. A lot of talk. In my opinion, sometimes a little bit disrespectful, a little bit disrespectful to you the Pow Pow. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, a little disrespectful. Pow Pow can shoot that damn thing, okay? And she's gonna shoot it tonight. Don't forget. Don't forget. Y'all must have forgot. I'm telling you, we're not gonna have no team to Pow Pow slander on here now. We're we, we not gonna do that. She's number three in the country for a reason. Shoot 46% for a reason, y'all. Okay? Now we're not doing it right now. Oh, yeah. Raven, Raven Glover, everybody look, look the sound at Beast Mode in their interviews. So I'm excited for this. I believe in them. Raven, for show. For show. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Jasmine Green Breezy said the team doesn't care about coverage. They pay, they pay, they don't pay attention to it. Well, these are babies. Now, Jasmine Green, you know, I, I respect what you said, and, and Breezy said as well. These are babies. These are babies. And I believe, and you know, these kids read everything they see and every, everything they don't see. You know what I'm saying? So they know they, they stay on social media. So they see what's going on. They see all this stuff. And they they if, if we as if we as most of us on here is like middle-aged girls and boys. I say middle-aged girls and boys. That's wrong. Middle-aged men and women on this team and, 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 and the followers and the fans and all this other stuff, you know, we still treat this, these, these girls like our kids. You know, we treat them as our kids. We love them like our kids. And we want them to be successful. We want them to be put in the best light, right? We want them to put, be put in the best light. And, and with myself, when I talk about them pretty much every day, you know, I feel a part of them. I feel a part of the team. I want a ring. When we get a ring, uh, Coach Staley sent me a little replica of the ring, and I wear it every day. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We got to get this, y'all. It's 6.04. It's 18.04. We have to get this victory. Judah Wise, is that a hint of a New York accent I hear on Cap? Mmm. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Good catch. Robert Whitaker. <laughs> Caitlin Clark is why our team is 99% black girls. <laughs> mm. We just got to win. Just got to win. Jasmine Green, ESPN doesn't care about South Carolina being undefeated. They talk about it as if it's boring, but four straight Final Fours is insane, especially with the party parity we have in women's basketball. You make a great point, Jasmine. You make a great point. It's not even being discussed that Carolina made four straight Final Fours. It's not even being talked about about our record over the last four years. None of those things even talked about. It's not even discussed. I'm not watching the pregame show right now. I'm watching myself. But what they talking about it, and I, even though I, I love Mr. Andrea Card, I love some L. Duncan. You know, they got our girl, Aaliyah Boston on the coverage. You got Shanae Agumake. Yeah, all these folks. 
but they still say stuff that ESPN want them to say. Now they 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 veer off, especially this crew. They veer off and say some stuff. I love they they are a, a really nice uh, 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 group. They are they are in my opinion they are by far the best. You know that covers women's basketball in terms of a studio by far. It ain't close. It ain't close. Not even close. I am close. Uh, B. Harris, Bree or Chloe with guard James size is impo important against her. I hope Chloe does not guard um, James. I hope Bree doesn't guard James. And I understand the point you're talking about with size. You know, Bree's about six foot, six one. Chloe's about six two. James and 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 and, and uh, Rivers play fast. Okay, both of those players play fast. And I want, regardless of the size, regardless of the height, I come from an era, and, and most of y'all who, who are middle aged, y'all know. I come from the era when the Hornets were good, right? I remember, I remember the days when the Hornets was really good. But on that team, they had this cat named Muggsy Bowles. Muggsy Bowles was five foot three, five foot three, five foot three, and used to give offensive players hell at five foot three. Cause he was so quick, so fast. I remember that. Now the, the Hornets suck horribly now, but I remember those glory days. And in this basketball game, I think it's going to be more so of staying in front of James and make her feel uncomfortable. Make her feel uncomfortable. I think the same thing going to happen when, if and when we play, you know, Iowa on Sunday. And I say if and when because I believe Connecticut is going to beat Iowa tonight. You got to use, I think, our, spe our speed and our, our quickness and athleticism. And Raven is an amazing defender. Amazing defender. She's better than, than Bree or, or Chloe. And they all, although those are two nice defenders, Raven and Malaysia Fulwiley are much better than both of them in guarding the ball. Coach Buck, do you think we could beat Iowa? Yeah. Yeah, and I ain't talked much. I ain't, I have not, I am not, like, analyzed Iowa. I ain't want to know deep dive about Iowa. If they win the game tonight, and and and, and when we win tonight, I'll just, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do the deep dive on Iowa, you know. But before I go into that, we got to handle our business, and Iowa got to handle their business. Now, with all the stars in line, and we play Iowa on Sunday, Yes, I believe we'll be Iowa on Sunday. This is not LSU. We're not LSU. We're not going to defend Iowa the same way LSU did. This is this begin with that. We are a deeper basketball team. We're deeper basketball than LSU and Iowa. You know, I think this is a, a, a thing that's not being done enough, in my opinion against a team like Iowa, you running off all those screens, running off all those screens, just be physical. Just be physical. A, good, a couple of good pops. That's all, just, just physical. It, it would, in between the lines, make sure it's clean, but a couple of good pops. And you know, maybe that's the 90s and 80s version of me. Just make stuff at, you know a player is coming off all those screens. You know a player is doing this, that, and the third. Just gotta, you know, just push them a little bit, make them feel uncomfortable. They already think that Carolina played too physical anyway. Hmm. We'll talk about our tomorrow if they win. If they win, a lot of good comments. <laughs> Dante reacts too. Oregon State was America's team too. And they at home watching from the couch, man. I, 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 I didn't know Oregon State was so popular. You know, I was like, wow, where, where did they come from? First of all, and where did a fan base come from? I did not. Did the fan base just show up when it was playing South Carolina? I, I was confused because you know, folks want us to win, want us to lose because we win too many games. I, I was just, I was just blown away. You know, Oregon State is a good basketball team. They're a good basketball team. Can't take nothing away from them. They played as well, but. Like 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 Dante said, they had the crib. They had the crib. 
B. Harris, if I'm Dante Powell to take three of the first five shots, if she's open, is she open? I have no, no, uh, no uh, reservation in having Powell take the first few, two or three shots. None at all. None at all. I don't have any. Hell, I hope she do. Hope she do. Robert Whitaker, we have to win the championship, Cap. There's so much pressure on these girls. It's a lot of pressure on these girls. I agree with you completely. There's a lot of pressure on these girls. Um, it is. Natural Girl, this is all about dollars. Viewership brings in dollars, and CC brings in the viewers. Green is the most important color. I agree with you. But the national media controls that. They control that. And it's. I, I kind of put it like this right here. When you control the narrative, you can shape what people see, right? You can, you control that stuff. Um, a case in point, during the pan pandemic, everybody stuck at home, everybody at the crib, everybody watching whatever's on television, right? There was no new te television shows. There was none of those. So we watching Netflix. We watching a whole lot of news, a whole lot of news, most news I've ever watched because, you know, trying to catch everything with the pandemic and Corona and the election, all these different things. So... The, the 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 news stuff that was how can I say the uh, the actual information that was given to us we consumed a lot of it we consumed a lot of it so if you're consuming a lot of stuff and similar stuff that stuff that you're bringing in could either change you good or change you bad right so if we're constantly talking about um, well, women basketball growing and it is growing by leaps and bounds, but this ain't nothing new. And that bugs me out. Like, it's just like women's basketball just showed up the last two or three years. There it were superstars a long time before. It just wasn't on television for us to consume. They weren't putting it on TV. They was not putting it on TV. We talk a lot about Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark. Maya Moore. What about, remember her? Remember Maya Moore? Remember Shamika Hoskar? Remember her? Lisa Leslie? Don Staley? You know, it's a whole lot of players who were great. Cheryl Miller? Pee Wee Johnson? A whole lot of great players before the last couple years. But we putting it on television for us to consume. Y'all remember when, when we had to look for we had to look for the women's um, tournament. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember when they used to show, used to have um, cutaways. We we watching uh, South Carolina, the one versus the 16th seed. And there would be, and, and, and when it's playing, they'll cut away to other games. So you see pieces of other games while your team is is playing. Remember when, we, when, when, when they weren't even showing the games. You had to, like, if you if you show the product for people to take in, if you make it easily accessible, you make it easily accessible, people will watch it. That's why I was saying, what's the shirt say? So everybody watches women's sports? That is true. But you have to put it on television. Like, the WNBA just signed a, a, a um, contract with Amazon Prime. That's cool. They're going to show 21 games. On, on Amazon Prime. That is fine. That is great. How about having a lot of games on ESPN or having all the games on ESPN Plus so a consumer don't have to look for the WNBA? Because you have to profit. You have to look. You have to uh, um, continue to stack days or stack wins after the tournament. Because after the tournament, on the 15th, I believe, you have the uh, WNBA draft. I might be wrong with the date. And then a month later, we started the WNBA. A lot of these players that we're cheering for right now will be playing in the W. But some of us are not going to watch the W because it's not as easy to find as watching a South Carolina Gamecocks game. We, we watched 36 Gamecock games this season. All of them. Just make it easily accessible. Easily accessible. The, the sport is growing. Viewership is going up. Individual stars is great. Paige Becker says something great. Pa and, and I'm a Paige Becker's fan, for sure. I'm a Paige Becker's 
fan. She plays offense. She plays defense. She's one of the most effective offensive, uh, efficient offensive players in the country. In my opinion, I've said it before, that Paige Beckers had the best year this year. And the question in the in a press conference, the, the question was basically saying, like, um, now that Caitlin Clark is leaving the um college basketball, basically, you know, how how's gonna how how you gonna feel about being the face of women's basketball? That that was the question, that was the statement, whatever. Now that Caitlin Clark has left, will be leaving college basketball. How you feel being the face of women's basketball next year? I was like, really? That's how we're doing, right? That's how we're doing. And Paige Beckers, I've been a Paige Beckers fan ever since she did. She was in the ESPYs and won with Sports Woman of the Year or College uh, Basketball Player of the Year, the ESPYs or whatever the case would be. And she came in and she was talking about, you know, she was giving credit to the people who came before her. The, and this is how she said. She said the black women who came before her, she said that um, – is uh, we need to give a light to everyone who's playing basketball and not just a few in, uh, individuals. Now, she basically said some of the same thing in this interview uh, a couple of days ago, that she she wished the light would go to all, uh, all the stars and not just constantly focus on her. She already knows they're going to do that. She knows they're going to do that. The ESPN machine will be on K, uh, Paige Beckers next year. But she's saying... Give everybody to shine. Everybody to shine. So if everybody shines, not just one individual person shine, everybody eats. Everybody gets a bite at the buffet. Not just certain players. I don't think we, don't, you know, I don't think. Is there a face of a men's college basketball? No, there is not. There is not a face in men's college basketball. Not one. You look up men's basketball, you 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 you're not talking about like an individual person. You are not. In this March Madness tournament, you are not talking about an individual man in this tournament. Mm -mm. You are talking about a uh, you know North Carolina State uh, unless you're talking about you no know, no no a homeboy who's been doing work for North Carolina State. You know, uh, 11 seed who made it and, and 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 big boy who doing who who looking like he's old school out there. You talking about him or you're not talking about, you know. Uh, in the, like Zach from Purdue. No, no, no. We are pigeonholing certain players and making them the faces of women basketball. I, I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan. Not a fan of that whatsoever. No. And, we, and I know I'm going to be like, um ready to jump through the TV screen, watch the 9 o'clock game. I know I am. I know it. But I'd be fine because Carolina going to win. And that's all that matters to me. And I know I just went off on some tangent. I don't remember what the hell I was talking about. It's pop out time tonight. You got it. That's what B. Harris. Michelle J., what's up? What is up? What is up? Cam Will and fam, let's go. Let's do this thing, yo. Let's do this thing. Jazz agree. I feel like everyone just ready for South Carolina to lose. So expect the refs to insert themselves too. Girl, I hope not. I really hope not. I hope we just, I hope it's a fair game. If we lose a fair game, I'm fine. I'm fine. I am, I, if we lose a fair game or if North Carolina State beats us, I'm fine. I'm fine. You have to have a winner. You have to have a loser. If North Carolina State outplays us and we lose the game, not a problem. Captain Will come on later on in the evening. I say they were better. That's what it is. They shot the hell out of the basketball. They defended. They did all the great things and won this basketball game. Now, if there's a situation where the refs aren't calling the game fair, or in my opinion, fair, then we got a problem. Okay? If we don't play well and we lose, I am good. I'm good. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to call it like I see it. Win, lose, or draw. But I think that we play well. We win the basketball game handedly. Handedly. Raven Glover, they were beating Texas transition. I don't think it'll be that simple. South Carolina, because South Carolina likes to run. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Um, <laughs> Captain, North Carolina State takes more than 10 charges a game, a.k.a. flopping. That's a that's a tough thing. I think you she is, Brewing. That's a tough thing to work with. Because if you're talking about if you it was flopping things and go either way, you know, 
I, I, I tend to uh, like go with a team that um, if you're gonna flop, I think you should have depth. I do because you 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 say they've taken a lot of these charges or whatever in this basketball game, and some of those don't go your way. Some of those flops and, and are called charges, and, and, and then then we had a um, situation where you you put yourself in foul trouble, you know. So just, if you can't play defense, just play it straight up. I, I, I hate the flop, and I hate it. I, I can't stand it. If we dominate, this is from Lamar Donald. If we dominate from the get go, that would take the refs out of it. We have to post twenty five to thirty five points each quarter. Let's go! Oh my God, you talking about some? NBA 2K type numbers, huh? <laughs> I just we defend. This is to my to my to my um brain. This game is about defending. If we defend, we will win. That those are bars, too. I'm gonna put that on t-shirt. By the way, this is the t-shirt. Basketball, basketball, game cost talk with Captain Will. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Um we defend well. We went we winning this basketball game. I don't, I don't, I don't deny that whatsoever. <laughs> oh, we blow out North Carolina, North Carolina State out, so the whole world can see how good this team is. And that's crazy. And that's from Robert Whitaker. That's crazy because the whole world knows how good we are, but apparently they don't know how good we are. And then hear me when I say that. They're not good we are, but you know, when you up close a person with that goodness. It just looks a little different. It was a little different. I want to take the heart out of North Carolina State tonight. I do. I really do. I want to take the heart out of North Carolina State, and I want to. I want them. I want the game to be over at halftime. I really do. That'll make me so happy. That'll make me so happy. I want Carolina to play Carolina ball. I want a level basketball tonight. I want to see that a level basketball. I want to see great shooting. If we four for 20 from the three-point line tonight, tonight is going to be a problem. If we shoot 40% from the line, we are in great shape in this basketball game. If we shoot our average of 47%, 46%, we will win the basketball game handily because I believe the defense is going to show up and show out and our depth is going to reign true. And I believe you're going to see a tired North Carolina State team in the fourth quarter. I do. I'm hoping that the game is called close. You know, we talk about the referees, but I'm I'm hoping the game is called close because if the game is called close. And I say game is called close. I'm talking about on both, both sides. Both sides. If you're going to call the game close. Don't call it close on South Carolina side because we're bigger. But call it close on both ends. Because they got call the game close on both ends. North Carolina State don't have many players and they're going to be in foul trouble early and they got enough horses to, to, to rock with us. We do. We do. Selfishly, I hope they call the game close. Either call it close or don't call nothing at all. That's how I feel about the game. <laughs> it might be wrong. It might be wrong, but that's the way I feel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, life is quite, let's be real. Tennessee, Stanford, or Texas has good guards. That's what won North Carolina State those games. Has good. North Carolina State. Uh, women's basketball players and our Rivers team did something the Gamecocks women's basketball couldn't do. Beat Iowa. Okay. Cheers. I mean, a lot of teams beat Iowa this season. Does that mean that they're better? I don't know. Does that mean because... I don't know. I'm... Gotcha, bro. Gotcha. Um... <laughs> hey Cap, Coach Staley not gonna sit there watching James and Rivers going off. Let's go, let's go. That's those are facts. Those are facts. Um, lots of good comments. Did I <laughs> instincts? Did I miss shot o'clock? We have not done shot o'clock yet. We we'll do shot o'clock tonight. I don't do shot o'clock at the pregame. I don't do that. Oh, okay, Miss Miss Malcolm. I didn't read. I didn't notice. Sonia Rivers did tweet some slick stuff about not getting a fair shake. Age responded saying freshmen think this is still high school. 
There's levels to this. Just because you was the ish in high school means zero. That sounds like something Asia would say. That sounds like something she would say. And, and, and that is a, a, a very true statement, especially when you go to a team like South Carolina that has so much depth. It doesn't matter what freshman is coming in uh, and, and what year. It doesn't matter anymore because every freshman that comes in, there's a pecking order of talent because everybody on this team currently in the 2023-2024 season was a highly ranked player, was either high, more highly ranked than the, the incoming freshman, freshman or right around the same spot. Right around the same spot. So everybody in the same boat. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. And not even that. Everybody's good. Everybody's great. Everybody, when everybody is a McDonald's All-American on your basketball team, when everybody's a five-star recruit on your basketball team, then, then the pecking order is set. You know, so you're not just going to come in to the to showing up and say, oh, I'm the number three ranked recruit in the class of 2021, and I'm taking your spot. That don't happen. That don't happen. Because the person that spot you think you're taking was number three in that class as well. That don't happen. What happened, Dante? We were celebrate tonight. Yeah, we celebrate and we dance, 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 dance. It's going down, y'all. It is going down. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. We're like thirty three minutes. We're like thirty three minutes, man. We are thirty three minutes. Miss Malcolm, definitely feeling in my bones that we'll be partying on Sunday for real. This team wants us more than the rest. I, 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 I. I just let let all the stars be aligned, and we got the, the the total clips coming. And I think everything is locked in for us to play Iowa on Sunday. I do. You know, ESPN hoping for that. They are hoping that South Carolina and um Iowa. They hoping they got some. They already made the videos. They already made the documentaries. They already made the different commercials for their basketball game. They already made it. It's done. It's done. I can't wait. The storyline is going to be galore, but I, I'm telling you, I believe that UConn is going to win that basketball game. You, I believe they're going to win. I believe they're going to win. And I believe that, um, what's the line? I think uh, I was favored by two or something. No, they got Iowa favored by three and a half points. Hmm. I haven't bet on that game yet. I take that bet. I sure would. I would take that bet. We, we are, um, 30, Two minutes in, 32 minutes away from tip-off for this basketball game. We will be back on at 9.15 or a few minutes after the game ends. Make sure you tune in. Make sure you are ready. Make sure you have your shot glasses, your wine glasses, your orange juice, your red Kool-Aid, your sweet tea, whatever it might be, ready after this basketball game. This includes another episode of Gamecock Talk with Captain Will. I am your man, Captain Will. Like, share, subscribe wherever you might get your podcast. You are now rocking with the best. Since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your man, Captain Will. <laughs>